What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Radio Sports Network. And now this video is a long time coming. I've been absent for quite a while. Uh, it is the holidays. I hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas. And I hope you're looking forward to the new year, 2018, a year that we can all hopefully look forward to, a year that is hopefully better for a lot of people. I know 2017 has kind of sucked uh, for a great amount of people. So hopefully 2018 are, can be, you know, the beacon, the, 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 the great, I guess you could say like hall. I'm not too sure how really to describe it, but you don't want to know about that. You don't want to know about my absence. You want to know about the one reason why you clicked on this video and that's Josh Rosen or Baker Mayfield pick your poison really. And it's interesting because you see with Josh Rosen, you have this guy who he, he speaks his mind. He's more of a political quarterback. He's kind of made it very clear that he doesn't want to be drafted by the Cleveland Browns and rather go to a late team in the late first round that could be the right fit rather than go in, let's say, like the top 10, which could be the wrong fit. And now I'm not one who really likes to talk about changing of the hands at quarterback for the Miami Dolphins as I am a fan of Ryan Tannehill and have supported Smoking Jay Cutler throughout this year, but I keep asking myself, you know, do I go Rosen for the Dolphins or Mayfield for the Dolphins? It's a very interesting question. And let me give you guys my reasoning behind it. Now, let's go into Baker Mayfield. Since we did go into Josh Rosen, let's go into Baker Mayfield. So, Baker Mayfield is that fuck you kind of quarterback and I, i'm trying to keep a little pg on this note but he is that quarterback that likes to basically kind of speak his mind and he's not afraid to say it he's active on twitter and he's vocal about his opinions and he is i believe oh not mistaken a six foot quarterback uh kind of mobile he can definitely throw the football i mean that's no doubt in our minds he doesn't have the same issues as a johnny manzel now a lot of people have been comparing him to Johnny Manziel, and I feel like this is an unfair comparison. Now, I think that Baker Mayfield can be very successful in the NFL. Do I think he goes in the first round? Probably not. If he goes in the second round, I would honestly have to tell you, he'd probably go to a team that is looking to move on from their own quarterback. You could have maybe an Arizona or... <laughs> If you really want to think about it, you could have a groomer under Tom Brady. And it's kind of a little interesting to, to think about. But I just keep hearing this. Every single Dolphins fan wants Baker Mayfield. Browns fans rejoiced when Johnny Manziel was picked with the 26th pick in the NFL draft. And look where that's brought them. That's why I say there's been many comparisons to the Johnny Manziel Baker Mayfield, they, I mean, people have basically been tying them together. Now, they're not the same people, and they're definitely not in the same breed of quarterback. But it makes you think to yourself, do you want to put all your eggs in the basket of Baker Mayfield? If you really want to move on, if you're the Miami Dolphins, let's go into the basic, basic field of it. If you are the Miami Dolphins, do you want... To move on from Ryan Tannehill after the end of the 2018-2019 season. Quick and efficiently. Or do you want to possibly move on before then? Before the start of the actual season and roll out 2018-2019 with a rookie. I bring this comparison because so many people think and believe that Baker Mayfield is that pick and Baker Mayfield will be the pick in the first round for the Miami Dolphins. And I beg to differ. I think Adam Gase is all in on Ryan Tannehill. And I think there is absolutely no way that he differs. I just, I don't believe so. I think he wants to go all in on RT 17. He's been vocal about it. That's the one and only reason if I want to be really honest with you guys, why I don't see Baker Mayfield in a Miami Dolphins uniform next season. I could be wrong. Could be very wrong. But I feel like if you are a team that is drafting Baker Mayfield, you want him to start right away. 
and there's more pressing issues on this Dolphins team than to spend your first round possibly very high pick on someone who is not ready to start right away in terms of the fact that you're not going to have him starting right away. Now you could pick him and try to flip him. It's a possibility. Your asking price could be a little bit too high. But with a quarterback like him, with people who want him, it's possible. But then there's Josh Rosen. A little bit of a project, a lot of people would like to think. And like I said, more of the political quarterback. Loves to speak his mind in a very different way, more towards the politics side of things rather than just the talking shit side of things if we want to be real here. My pick, if I'm picking, is Josh Rosen. The only unfortunate thing about that is that, in my opinion, both Rosen and Baker Mayfield will be gone in the top 10. I don't think the Dolphins spend a pick on a top 10 in the, on a quarterback. I just don't see it happening unless something drastically changes. Unless there is a change of faith with Adam Gase in Ryan Tannehill. I just can't see it possible. I just can't see it happening. It's not something where we can sit here and say perfectly without a doubt in our minds that the Miami Dolphins and Adam Gase are ready to move on. Now, I know a lot of people don't have their likings towards Adam Gase and to those people I'd honestly tell you that if you think that this is the coach that we need to move on from at this point in time when we've been able to see what he could do when he had the competent quarterback that he wanted to have um we saw a 10 and 6 product yes weaker schedule yes you know we had people like JGI who you know popped off and did well for us but you have to also look at the fact that he is the coach and what he says goes <laughs> and he's not the guy that the Dolphins should move on from anytime soon it's plain and simple now I'm going to end off with this no explanation on where I've been hope you guys have enjoyed your holiday season if you, Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa whatever you celebrate I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you guys will enjoy the new year and the new content we will be seeing. I will have a video, a very special video dropping on midnight of New Year's. So obviously people aren't going to be watching it. But it will either drop midnight or relatively sometime during that day. Uh, and yeah, just daily uploading is back. And I will see you guys next time. As always, peace.